Today, we will be learning about the indefinite and definite articles. We will first start by learning about indefinite articles. The singular form of an indefinite article is like adding a or an before a word in English. This is represented by the all epsilon combination in Coptic, which as you have already learned, makes the sound oo. For example, shiri, which means sun, gets turned into oo shiri, which means a sun. The same thing happens with soni, which means sister, gets turned into oo soni, which means a sister. The plural form of an indefinite article is like adding an s or es to the end of a noun in English. However, in Coptic, han is added to the beginning of the noun. For example, gom, which means book, gets turned into han gom, which means books. Now for the activity, you'll be using the indefinite singular and plural forms to make the Coptic match the English. Please, please copy down the table at this moment, or you can either come back later after the video has ended. We will now be moving on to the definite articles. A definite article is like adding the before a noun in English. In the singular form, you will see that there are many different types. If you look up to the right-hand corner, corner, you'll see that the first division is made by the feminine and masculine nouns. From there, if you go to the far right-hand side, you'll see that there are these two specific articles which are used for important nouns which start with the letters vita, yota, lola, me, ne, o, and ro, or otherwise known as the vil minor nouns. As you can see, these articles are a jinkum over a theta, or a jinkum over phi. When used, these will turn yot, which means father, into f yot, which means the father. This is a very important and specific, the father. This is like saying God the father versus the father over there. As you can see, the difference is God the father is very specific and important. The same thing happens if you move to an, a color a column over to the left. These two articles, a jinkum, over a tav or a jinkum over pi are used over any other noun. For example, apshiri means the sun, and it is a very specific the sun. This is like saying Christ the sun, which is very specific and important, or just saying the sun over there. So now that we've covered the important and specific nouns and when in the articles for them and when to use them, We'll be going over to general nouns and those articles. These would be the first column on the left with Coptic letters in it. These are T or and pi with a yota, which makes the P sound. These are applied to any noun. For example, P gom means the book, P kosh means the pen, and T soni means the sister. Overall, in the singular definitive form, the articles are mainly divided by the feminine versus masculine nouns. That is the most important thing for you to remember. Now, in the plural form, the feminine and masculine nouns make no difference. Ni is used almost always to make nouns plural. For example, ni gom means the book, ni kash means the pens, ni soni means the sisters, ni mav means the mothers, and ni romi means the men. The only exception is when nen is used. Nen is used when a noun belongs to another noun. For example, nen kosh and mina means the pens of mina. As seen in that example, the pens belong to mina. The same thing happens with nen gom and sara. This means the books of, Sa of Sarah. The books belong to Sarah. Now in this activity, it is very similar to the indefinite activity. You will be copying down this table and then using the definite articles to make the Coptic match the English in each of the columns.